So what's up everybody? How's everybody doing today? Um hope everybody's doing pretty good. Um but anyways, let's get right into it. So <clears throat> last video I made about the car was pretty much showing that the rear end is completely destroyed, useless, uh, or at least the bearings are. Um and I'm not taking the time to fix it. I tried to message a guy about getting a rear end for it, but apparently he has other things to do than try to, you know, make money. So <clears throat> I've given up on it. Um, which kind of sucks because it is a drivable car aside from that. There's nothing else wrong with it aside from, you know, the rear end being blown up and the constant misfires that I have, but I don't think they're misfires. I think they're electrical issues. So, but anyway, um, so I'm gonna have to post the car for sale on Facebook at some point here in the next few weeks. Um, and I also <clears throat> am going to have to get all my bulbs out that I want to keep because I'm not going to let all of them go with the car. I am going to let the radio go with the car just because I don't want to have to keep cutting the harness shorter and shorter and shorter to where there's almost no harness left. So I'm leaving it with the car. It's staying in it. It's not coming out. So yeah, but anyways, I needed something to replace it. So I was looking for a 03 to 06 uh, Sierra or Silverado, 1500 obviously. Uh, or I was also looking for an 03 to 06 Yukon Denali, Yukon, or just regular Tahoe. Uh, or I was looking for an 07 to 14 Yukon Denali or Tahoe. So, tried to find some of those. I found a 2011 Yukon that wasn't, uh, Yukon Denali that wasn't too far from me where I'm at. It was around my neighborhood, I think. Um, and I messaged the guy first and I guess he thought that maybe me and my fiance were playing a trick on him or something. Cause I messaged him with her account cause I don't have a Facebook anymore. And I don't know if maybe he thought we were a spot, we were full of shit or what. Cause I messaged him, you know, under her account I was like, Hey, you know, we're interested in your vehicle. We want to know when we could look at it. And he put me, he left me on red the first time. So then I gave him a little while, figured, okay, maybe he's at work. Maybe somebody will respond back in a little while. Nope. So then I sent a question mark, pretty much, you know, acknowledging the fact that I know he left me on red. So whatever. So then he continued to do it again. So I was like, all right, well, fuck him. So gave up on that. I had some other trucks saved that I was wanting to look at if other stuff I wanted to look at fell through. So then I had another Yukon saved, and it was 2003. It was a Yukon Denali. And the two Yukons I've looked at, they weren't. Uh, I didn't know if they were all-wheel drive or real-wheel drive. So the, o the O3 was in really good shape based on the pictures. Uh, it had like 206,000 miles, something like that. Uh, you know, it had sunroof and all that stuff. Like I said, didn't know if it was all-wheel drive. But they are 6-liter, so that's good. Uh, the, old, the newer ones are 6.2, which I wanted. But, you know, it is what it is. But, uh... I messaged the guy and I kept asking him some questions about it, you know, and all that. I wanted to know if it was all-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive because I really wanted it to be all-wheel. But if it was rear-wheel, I figure I can do two, one of two things. If it's rear-wheel drive, I can just lower it a little bit, put some nice wheels and tires on it, and still do the exhaust and everything like I did before on a Tahoe. Or if it's all-wheel drive, I can put a leveling kit on it, put some nice wheels and tires on it still, put some exhaust on it and stuff like that, and the cam and all that, make it look nice. Well... I messaged him, we met up, and I looked at it, and I was like, ah, oh, well, I guess it needs to sit in my driveway. So, 2003 GMC Yukon Denali. I know there's nothing wrong with it. It's not why I have the hood up. I tried to make this video earlier, but my phone got hot, so I'm trying to be quick about this. Uh, but anyway, like I said, 03 Yukon Denali, uh, all-wheel drive. It's got the LQ4 6-liter Vortec. Uh, it has a 4L65E automatic transmission. Um... <clears throat> and these like i've said it is all-wheel drive so you can't take it in and out of all-wheel drive at all um so like with my tahoe and a lot of the others there's no switches right here it's in all-wheel drive all the time uh it's got power seats heated seats power adjustable pedals uh power folding mirrors which do work thank god they did not work on my tahoe uh, or at least one of them did the other one didn't but they both work perfectly fine i've used them a few times to make sure they work and they work flawlessly Steering wheel's in really good shape. Uh, you can go and look at my other videos on my Tahoe. It's a red 2006. And you'll see how bad the interior is on that compared to the interior on this. Um, it's in really good shape. It's dirty from other people sitting in it and me sitting in it. But it's in really good shape. The, light, the lid for the 
center console is in good shape uh the seats are in good shape they're not all torn and busted this one has a little bitty spot right here from where people just sit on it like that uh you see the steering wheel like i said all the lights on the dash light up they all work like they're supposed to i can actually see the gauges uh all the steering wheel controls work uh and i wanted an 03 to 06 mainly for this steering wheel i don't like the other steering wheels i think they're ugly as shit and the older denali's and the escalades have that ugly ass steering wheel with the little stupid buttons on the sides i don't like them this is the steering wheel i like so that's what i wanted <clears throat> um and unlike my tahoe the parking brake on this actually holds it in place so that's good um and my tahoe did not have these in the rear it only had them in the front doors but this has them all the way around so that's even better uh, it's obviously got bose audio system in it um it's got rear ac and all that stuff but it does not have rear entertainment it's also got a sunroof which i forgot to mention um the ac does not work i believe it needs to be charged or it's got a leak or both uh, I know for the for the most part, it does need to be charged. Uh, it does not have the rear captain's chairs, unfortunately. But usually, the only vehicles that have those are the ones that have a third row, which this does not. Uh, it also needs the struts replaced on the lift gate and the glass because it will not stay up on its own. Uh, the lift gate stays up a little bit better than the glass. But as you can see, if I let it down, it will start to fall. But it's got the WeatherTech uh, cargo liner in here, and I've already ordered front and rear floor mats for this uh that are also the same color and i've also ordered a third brake light because it does not work uh, i ordered a leveling kit as well because as you saw it does whoops let's make sure that's closed uh it does have uh wheels off of an at4 sierra i don't know if the tires come with them i'm guessing they do i don't know a whole lot about at4s um i would rather have a denali so i don't really care about those so it's got the bfg all terrains on it I don't know how tall they are. I'm assuming they're probably closer to a 31 or 32 inch tall tire. I really don't know. Uh, it does rub on one spot, which I think is kind of stupid, but it rubs right up there. You can see it. Um, it only rubs turning right. It doesn't rub in any other direction. It doesn't rub on the other side. But you can see there's a six liter. The six liters are uh, well known for their different style engine cover. So the typical Vortec engine covers just cover the center like this one but the six o's they cover all the way around and just in case anybody thinks i'm lying there you go it is a six liter and the eighth digit i think it's supposed to be an eight for the lq4 uh you can look there uh bin number i think i don't know i'm not sure about these and then if you also don't think that this is a an lq4 or an actual six liter a Yukon you can come in here and you can get your registration that I'm not trying to show everybody because then you'll know my name and nobody needs to know that but if you look on here and you look right there it says LQ4 so there you go LQ4 um there is some other things that I wanted to look at for this um but I can't remember what they were but uh yeah so um it does have an oil leak but i think it's the oil cooler lines because this does have the oil cooler set on it um and i looked up the oil cooler lines and they're about a hundred dollars for both they come as a set as a pair i meant so but came with uh keyless entry and all that stuff so yeah i love the way denali's look i've always wanted a denali no it's not really the one i wanted but it's in really good shape the paint's in really good shape it's not perfect but it's a 20 year old vehicle so it's not going to be perfect it needs a windshield because it's got a few chips in it that i want to get rid of um and then i'll go get everything retinted so i'll get the front two windows tinted with five percent because i think they have 15 now and then i'll get five put on the rear tent which is factory and then i'll get the windshield tinted with 50 percent like the truck um and then also uh i've got to go and replace the marker lights because as you can see they're kind of faded and hazy uh, the headlights are getting to that point too they're not aimed correctly either because this one's actually aimed in that one's aimed out so i'm gonna get rid of those get some new led bulbs in that and a lot of the bulbs from the car will fit in this so that's even better that's just less money i have to spend and then the fog lights suck they don't sh they don't really shine light on anything um <clears throat> i was going to uh actually take the wheels off of this and 
clean them and stuff like that because it is a pretty decent day outside but i've kind of lost interest in doing it today like i did yesterday so won't be done today but yes it's a nice vehicle it's a lot better than a lot of the ones i've seen around here so and it's very funny because uh when i had my red tahoe uh, there was actually one of these near me that was wrecked that they were selling for like 1500 bucks That was in just as good a shape aside from being wrecked the interior was flawless everything else And it had a 6.0 and all that and I wanted everything out of it, but uh, Somebody bought it before I could so unfortunately that's just how it goes But uh, I snatched this up before somebody else I paid six grand for this in case anybody's wondering and I'm sure people are gonna be like, oh, that's a steal or all, oh, you know, you paid too much or you paid too little, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Or somebody didn't know what they had. And that's perfectly fine. He said that he got people lowballing him a lot, which, okay. I know that this is a pretty decently priced vehicle. If I fix everything that's wrong with it and polish the paint up, I can make my money back, if not a little bit more. Because it's in good shape. Uh, after I got it, uh, I got it last Thursday. But after I got it, uh, we went and drove it this past weekend out of town. A uh, three hour, three hour and thirty minute trip one way, and it did perfectly fine. Had no issues aside from the AC not working. We were sweating our asses off, but that's fine. I'll get that fixed soon. So, yeah. But there you go. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you guys enjoy the new project. It'll definitely get the same thing the, the Tahoe's got. It'll get long tubes, catless Y pipe, the MBRP exhaust, but it will not have the MBRP muffler. I will do something different with that. But y'all just have to wait and see what that's going to be. Uh, this will get a cam. I've already found a cam I want for this, so I'll get it. I need to get the transmission rebuilt because uh, when I put a little bit more power in this, I don't want that transmission to go from four forward gears to just all neutrals, which the 4L60 and 65s are not known for keeping uh, <laughs> their gears if you put any kind of power on them. The 4L80 can handle a pretty good bit before it starts to need to be rebuilt. So... And this one's got 200,000 miles on it, so it's pretty tired. So, anyways. Hey, Yogi. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you later.